just talk about the mood of the team after taking a tough loss? How did you guys approach practice? Yeah, uh, I think guys are are uh, motivated for sure for this week coming into our first home game. Uh, we're not trying to dwell on the on the past game. We know we know we did wrong. We know we needed what we need to fix, and um, we're just excited to get after and, and fix those things. The targeting was obviously a big thing. Has that has that been addressed by Kalani? And as a defensive player, how how do you look at that? How do you defend against? Uh, I don't think he he hasn't really um, made a statement about it to the team. I don't think. Uh, I think he knows that. In, in that type of uh, situation, that um, he's going to have our best interest in mind. Um, uh, he, we, we always teach about the right way to tackle, and you know who's to say if it was a, a right call or not. Um, but you know we just have to prepare accordingly for your guys who are going to be out. Talk about the defensive performance, forcing as many turnovers as you guys were able to do. Yeah, I mean that's that's the way. Uh, usually, you want to try and win football games is to get turnovers on defense, uh, and obviously protecting the ball on the other side on offense. Um, Unfortunately, we weren't able to convert as many points as we probably wanted to on the offensive side of the ball, but the defense uh, still has a lot of things to work on. We, we gave up 11 minutes and of possession time to the offense in the fourth quarter, so that's something that we need to work on. Talking about that drive, because that obviously was, you know, they were able to kill so much time. What was it like being on the field for that as they're, you know, they're kind of turning things down? Yeah, uh, it's just guys weren't doing their job. People were trying to make plays for other guys and you know, it's putting that puts other people out of position. So that just continued to go on throughout that that entire possession. Um, you just gotta make sure we're assignment sound. Someone from Southern California, how excited are you to play you sir? Yeah, uh, it's always a fun game because I, I know people on that uh, on that team. Um, you know, especially when it's at, at our house this time, that'll be that'll be fun and exciting. Uh, but yeah, it's always always a good game. Did you like UCLA growing up? Yeah, I was, I was more of a USC fan, uh, but you know, as as I got older and I started learning more about UCLA, I, I, you know, I, I like the school and uh, it's a good program. You guys spent a lot of time getting bigger and stronger in the offseason, the strength and conditioning program. Yeah, correct. Does, how does the training change once the season starts? Oh, uh, we still focus on you know maintaining strength and becoming and, uh, bigger, faster, stronger. Um, you know, I think it's a lot of the stuff is trying to make sure that we're lifting to prevent injury and, do, uh, and that kind of and that kind of. Um, you know, in that kind of way. Have you guys focused on, I mean, both the last two fourth quarters of the first two games, you had time, you know, some of those assignment mistakes that you talked about. Is, is that a where thing where guys are, you know, maybe losing focus a little bit? Is that? Uh, I, I'd, I'd probably say so. Um, you know, I think it's just a, it's just a mental thing, uh, making sure that we're mentally tough and when it comes down to it. Um, and that's something that we need to work on, obviously. So that's what we're doing. What do you have to do just to improve, you know, late in the game for that type of thing? I guess. Probably just put ourselves in that situation out in practice, you know, where we're tired and having to make make uh, decisions. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just mental. So you got to dig deep in those situations. Fred, what do you remember from last year's loss to UCLA? Uh, I remember uh, the defense couldn't stop the run, and so they 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 had a really good running back that that year. Um, I think it's Paul Perkins, and uh, he's not there anymore. I think this 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 time around they're going to use uh, more t tight end sets, double tight end sets, um, and run the ball. Just like, especially the way I mean, we haven't been playing that great of run defense in the past couple of games, so they're probably going to try and run the ball on us. But we'll be prepared. Is one of those losses that stands out to you a little bit more because it was you know, you're playing a ranked team on the road and you had them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and that's something I haven't. I you know I sometimes forget that they were that we were both doing well. You know. Um, and they were they were a ranked team, and right now I think they're they have the potential to become one of those ranked teams um, down the line. So I feel like uh, this is a huge game for us. The first two games, the games on the ground game against you guys have come late. Uh, is there any reason for that? Uh, I wouldn't. I, I don't. I don't. I can't really put a finger on it. You know, it's just uh, we just need, need to be more prepared and play physical. You think you guys are wearing down late in games? Uh, I, I honestly don't think that. Guy, like we have guys to rotate. If that's a, if that's an issue, then we need to make sure guys are rotating and staying fresh. Because um, there's no excuse for being too tired to be able to make a decision or make um, plays in the in the fourth quarter. I feel like you guys matched up physically with Utah uh, better this game than maybe in the Las Vegas Bowl because of the offseason work you did. Are you talking about on defense or as a team? As a team physically. Yeah, I think uh, yeah we were for sure uh, physically ready to. To uh, go after him this game, uh, I think last season, 
it was the end of the season, so we obviously we didn't have all the guys that we probably could have had, and you know people were the most injured at that time. Um, your body's worn down, but this was our second game into the season. We were for sure physically ready. Have you had a chance to watch any film of Rose and to compare him to this year? Like yeah, I haven't. I haven't been able to watch a ton of what he's done uh, this this season, just in the first two games. But you know, he's a, he's a great player, and he's similar to Tanner in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, he can throw the rock and. He uh, can move in the pocket very well, um, so he'll be a very good player. Coach, how has been a little bit of a revelation leading the team to tackle the last two weeks? How about his play from your perspective? Oh, he's been awesome. You know, people are making nicknames for him. It's awesome to watch him on film, just uh, wrecking guys. Uh, but, yeah, he just like you say, he's been a revelation for us. He's uh, come in and played as if he's been a veteran, uh, and it's been awesome to see. He's been a leader and, and a playmaker. What are the nicknames? Yeah. <laughs> the nicknames I've seen a couple on Twitter like uh, Butch Pow Pow Pow, uh, you know the hammer, uh, whatever you want. He he lays it he lays it down. Could obviously, he was upset about that targeting call. What's it like for you guys to see so much passion out of your head coach? <laughs> it's awesome, you know. And uh, at one moment I'm I'm looking up at the scoreboard, uh, just trying to see if it was a targeting call or not. The next I see him just throw it on the field and the <laughs> flags flying to the air. But uh, it, it's so awesome, you know, and, it, and we love to see that out of him, knowing that he has our back and um, and knowing that he'll he'll be out there for us. And we, we can have confidence in that, knowing that we that he has our, our back. What Last does, question. What does kind of cool mean for the defense, and how tough is it not to have him for, for at least the first time? Oh, yeah, he's – I mean, he's a captain for our team. So he's not only a, a – Playmaker for our, for our defense, but he's a leader for our team, and so that'll, that'll be tough having him out for the first half. But um, that also pulls us together as a defense, knowing that we need to play for him and and uh, take care of business on on our side of the ball. Did you say the boot is precautionary? Yeah, it's just just a little bruise from last game. Is that, did you practice? Not today. No, no, I was sitting out today. Thanks, Fred. Yeah, thank you.